Tracy at? She is myqueen.com, and I know she finna do me proud, okay? Boom! Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrity reactions to their Snatch Game impressions. <gasps> Did you die? Oh my god. For this list, we're looking at instances of stars reacting to their portrayals in the Snatch Game Challenge on RuPaul's Drag Race. Which of these responses is the most tabloid worthy? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, Lil Jon. <laughs> okay. Season 14 Snatch Game had some issues, and that's putting it lightly. The weakness of the performances overall resulted in the unforgettable lip sync smackdown the following week. Deja Sky's performance as the Atlanta rapper was the obvious bright spot in an underwhelming showing. What say you? I said his grill. Oh, oh. <laughs> God damn it. While promoting her success in the challenge on Twitter, Deja posted additional photos of her in character. Lil Jon then replied, killed it, with a hands in the air emoji. Clearly over the moon, the queen also tweeted about how much Jon loved her impersonation. While we didn't see a filmed reaction from the artist himself, we're glad Deja's transformation got the cosign. We'll shake your groove thing. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Number nine. Bjork. Bjork is here. I love your suit. Thank you. It reminds me of the lining of my small intestine. <laughs> Katya is known as one of the most hilarious queens to ever compete on Drag Race. Her off-kilter brand of humor perfectly complemented her choice of character in the All-Stars 2 Snatch Game. Sometimes I don't understand anything about science. Katya's impression of the famously quirky singer-songwriter was as weird as could be, and we loved every moment of it. How many bones do I wear? How many bones do you want? Oh. <laughs> As it turns out, so did the Icelandic artist herself. In an Ask Me Anything discussion on Reddit, she heaped praise on Katya's impression. Although she admitted she longed for references to her Volnikura era, it was clear she found the impersonation outrageous yet accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Number 8. Jonathan Van Ness. What's the secret to keeping your hair silky smooth? Praying to the gay Jesus himself. Me! <laughs> Each cast member of Netflix's Queer Eye reboot has become a breakout star in their own right. But the Fab Five's hairstylist and beauty guru JVN has become a truly iconic television presence. Yeah, but that's hot. It's, I love that story. <laughs> From their signature do to their unfailingly peppy attitude, their on-screen persona is perfect Snatch Game material. Thankfully, Chicago Queen Denali did the mustachioed star justice. Ross Matthews fries his eggs on what? Now the only thing hotter than Palm Springs is our resident culinary expert, Antony. So I wrote, Antony's ass cheek. <laughs> In fact, Van Ness declared the impersonation a, quote, major life moment on Twitter. And we haven't even got to their Instagram post of a screen cap from the episode. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, and Denali's was spot on. Great assets, turn them over and you can make a Benedict. <laughs> <laughs> Number seven, Tamar Braxton. Tamar Braxton. Get your life. <laughs> What's Tony really like? Girl, who cares? This is my first gig without Tony and I am so excited. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. Roxy Andrews stood out in season five Snatch Game, despite competing with some unforgettable performances like Jinx Monsoon's Lil Edie. Her irreverent interpretation of the Braxton sister was thoroughly entertaining and full of memorable catchphrases. Boom! Who cares? <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of hearing about that bitch. Tamar's world. In the season's final episode, Roxy got a rousing video message from Tamar herself praising the impression. They do that on OverTheTopShade.com, okay? Boom! Get your life. During the same segment, drag icon Lady Bunny also had some hilarious words for her Snatch Game impersonator, Alaska. Well, Julie, I just wrote anus. <laughs> It was a surprising moment in the climactic episode, and it made the performances feel all the more special. Alaska, I wanted to tell you that your impersonation of me was spot on, and I'm gonna get you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Number six, Leslie Jones. Black of the berry, sweet of the juice. I thought it was darker the berry. What berries are black? 
black bears. <laughs> this former SNL cast member is known among Drag Race fans for her animated live tweetings of the show. Leslie, are you recording this? Yeah, girl, that's how I do it at home. I live tweet live. <laughs> <laughs> Funnily enough, season 12 Snatch Game episode was no exception. Leslie Jones, her comedy is very loud in your face and very thirsty with uh -huh. her uh, skit, so I can really tap into that real well. Heidi and Closet was nearly in hot water with Jones, as the comedian seemed to take offense to being characterized as thirsty during Rue's walkthrough. Heidi replied on Twitter explaining that this was a reference to Jones's flirtatious persona from Weekend Update. Although the actress questioned some less successful performances, she called Heidi, quote, hilarious and gave her a, quote, A for effort. From a comic extraordinaire like her, that's high praise. Oh, your hair is different, Leslie. Yeah, I had to let the civil rights hair out, Ruth. Oh. You're real tight in there. Number five, Judge Judy. Judge Judy, hey, Your Honor. Did you forget you were coming to court today dressed like that? You look like a damn roll of scotch tape. Well, I thought it was- Don't piss on my leg and tell me it's raining. <laughs> Rue's love for Judge Judith Scheindlin is well-documented. So I have no idea that Judge Judy is RuPaul's favorite TV show. <laughs> pressure? The pressure was on then for season six comedy queen Bianca Del Rio to capture the TV star's one-of-a-kind personality. Thankfully, the performance was anything but baloney. Baloney! <laughs> baloney, sir! Although she was edged out by Ben De La Creme, Bianca was a definite standout in the Snatch Game. Shockingly, fans and cast members alike were treated to a cameo from Judy herself at the end of the finale. In a video from behind her bench, she praised Bianca's impression and gave a touching shout out to her famous fan. I thought Bianca was a hoot, but Rue, you're still my favorite. Baloney! Considering the judge's legendary status, we can only assume the impact the statement had on Bianca and Rue alike. Number four, Patricia Quinn. I am doing Patricia Quinn. Who's that? She played Magenta in the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Has a celebrity ever reacted quite so strongly to the Snatch Game? Aiden Zane's decision to portray the actress famous for the Rocky Horror Picture Show was interesting. Are you ready to do the time warp again? I have no idea what you're talking about, <laughs> Rue. Oh, really? Whatever happened to you? Did you make other films? I don't remember a damn thing. Sadly, her characterization didn't extend much beyond the star being a kooky old lady. What say you, Patricia Quinn? Well, you know, I still have no clue what the hell's going on here, but okay. I put a blunt, because if I had one of these right now, I might remember where the hell I'm at. Besides not excelling at the challenge, Aiden's performance had the unfortunate side effect of offending its inspiration. Quinn released a statement through her manager in which she expressed disappointment with, quote, being depicted as a washed up actress who has taken too many drugs. Perhaps most shockingly, the actress said she was left feeling, quote, disgusted. Number three, Lisa Rinna. I was talking about Cardi B earlier, and I remembered I am wearing a Cardi Gan. This is my Lisa Rinna duster. <laughs> Jackie Cox and Lisa Rinna are a truly star-crossed pair. On Watch What Happens Live, Jackie impersonated the Beverly Hills housewife to her face, complete with a QVC-ready clothing rack. <laughs> she has got her Lisa Rinna collection for HSN. So, the queen's choice for the snatch game was a no-brainer. Harry yeah. Hamlin. Yeah. Harry Hamlin. Have yeah. you met my husband? Yeah. Say it one more time. Harry, Harry, Harry Hamlin. Hamlin. Don't talk about my husband. <laughs> At the season 12 reunion, we were treated to a personalized video from Rena with a surprised guest. Hi, Jackie Cox. Hi. Lisa Rena here. I loved your snatch game. Okay? I'm honored. I'm thrilled. It was fabulous. It was a heartfelt message that clearly meant a lot to Jackie. The performers later collaborated in Days of Our Lives Beyond Salem. So who are you supposed to be? And Rinna praised Jackie in a promotional interview. Although we won't talk about the husband, we could talk about this dynamic duo to no end. My favorite part was when you picked up the wine glass and you said, let's not talk about the husband. Well, speaking of the husband, Number two, Paris Hilton. Hey, Rue, how's it going? Just let me know when the cameras are rolling and we'll kill it. Well, we've started. The cameras are rolling. 
Oh, shit. That's so embarrassing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Got Mick delivered arguably one of the best ever drag race comedy performances in season 13. Perhaps due to her professional history with the reality TV star, Got Mick had Hilton's voice and persona down. My goodness, your voice changed just then when you found out that we were on camera. You're so obsessed with me, it's everything. I kind of am obsessed with you. However, the queen also had original ideas for making her inspiration truly hilarious. In a video on Got Mick's YouTube channel, she showed how she put together the instantly memorable Snatch Game look. At the end, Paris appeared via video chat and heaped praise on her impersonator. How are you? I'm doing good. Congratulations. <laughs> I was watching last night. Thanks. Did you get to see it? There's something particularly exciting about seeing a celeb discuss their portrayal with the challenge winner herself. In a word, gorge. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Jenny Boy. Cardi B's nail artist fired back after Gia Gunn's less than sensitive portrayal. To be completely honest, I really don't know much about her, but what I do know is how to impersonate somebody that's fresh off the boat and can do good nail for you. Nigella Lawson. The cookbook author and TV personality loved Elevade's saucy spin. And then I like to lap up the fluids from the South Spoon. <laughs> it's in the new book, darling. Gemma Collins. Kitty Scott Claus was invited on the Towie Stars podcast. Gemma Collins is here. She say baby! <laughs> oh, Ru, it wouldn't be Snatch Game without me. Do you know what I mean? You actually could get paid to be my double. I was going to say, babe, when you want to If I don't want to do a job, I think I'm sending you. Do it, do it. I'll do it. I'll literally... Big pair of sunglasses, they'll never yeah. know. Raven Simone. The singer-actress didn't see a future for Jaden Dior Fierce's impression. I'll try again. No, I saw the same thing. Same thing. Alyssa Edwards. We got an entire reaction video from this beloved dancing queen. The dynamic duo converts the Batcave into a... A dance studio, baby. <laughs> Hashtag beyond belief. Was that Violet Chachki dressed up as me? Ooh, can we, how do we rewind this gig back? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Carol Channing. There is so much talk about drugs, I haven't taken anything but Lipitor for the past 10 years. You don't really get a buzz off of that. Bob the Drag Queen's comedy chops were no secret on season 8. Nonetheless, it was extremely impressive for the competitor to pull off two very different impressions in one Snatch Game. I'm sorry that I'm late, but uh, Uzo Abubu left the stage. <laughs> And she asked me if I would fill in. What made Bob's performance even more memorable was the fact that it garnered two separate shout-outs. From Orange is the New Black, Uzo Aduba is here. Don't say nothing stupid. Don't say nothing stupid. Uh, how you doing, RuPaul? <laughs> On Twitter, Uzo Aduba summed up her impression with the word bravo, which Bob addressed at the finale. But arguably the most heartwarming tribute came from the legendary Carol Channing. Thank you, Bob, for your colorful impersonation of me. The actress's video message was both surprising and absolutely touching. It made an already enjoyable finale truly one for the books. I'm so honored to be a part of your history. Oh, I'm proud of that. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.